Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The Bachelor's Rachel Nance recently responded angrily to her detractors on social media. Some supporters believe that Rachel ought to have returned home rather than Maria. Her attitude toward Maria when she questioned why she had pulled Joey aside prior to the rose ceremony also did not sit well with them. But once Maria left, everyone adored her and didn't even want the show to end. Rachel made it clear to those who harbored hate for her that she would not put up with it. Returning home is Maria Jorgas. The princess of the people was Maria Jorgas. She was adored by all and was the one who everyone wanted to end up with Joey. But after the hometown dates, she was sent home. Just before the rose ceremony, she got Joey away to confess her feelings for him. They did not, in his opinion, have as strong of a bond as they did with the other women. Maria dragging him away did not sit well with Rachel. What was the matter with that? Rachel was not pleased with Maria's response, saying that she was unsure. You're not aware, but you invited him to speak. She was obviously upset about what she had done, but other fans did not enjoy the attitude she gave Maria. Rachel Nance retaliates. Fans quickly expressed their opinion that Rachel ought to have gone home after this incident. Rachel quickly retaliated in a TikTok, telling people to watch your mouth, but it's okay if they don't like her. In the comments, other admirers defended her. It appears that there is a great deal of disagreement on whether Rachel ought to have stayed or returned home. Though some worry that Rachel and Joey's bond is not as deep as his with the other ladies, Rachel appears to genuinely connect with Joey. Rachel Nance quickly made it clear to everyone that she was not here for the hate she was facing. She does, nevertheless, have supporters who adore and stand up for her. Out of the three remaining ladies, she is the only one who hasn't admitted to being in love with Joey. It appears that Rachel is the one falling short because Joey admitted to Kelsey and Daisy that he was in love with them. What are your thoughts on Rachel's response to the hate mail she is getting? Are you fond of Rachel? Comment Sydney down below being introduced to the public during Joey's season of The Bachelor, and she is now answering 20 quick questions exclusively for BachelorNation.com. Discover a little bit more about Sydney below. 1. Astrology is a controversial subject that I enjoy discussing. 2. Ashley Iaconetti and Jared Haven, in my opinion, are a famous couple that epitomize the concept of hashtag relationship goals. 3. The finest advice I've ever heard about relationships is to never leave without saying goodbye with a kiss. 4. I am a underscore 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 and the insert zodiac sign. Characteristic I value the most is Leo. I will drop someone like a fly if they hurt me, even though I love them so much. 5. The thing I dislike the most is when someone sits on the bed while wearing outdoor clothing. 6. Sweet potato fries with chicken green curry would be my final dinner on earth. Yum. Dessert was Rice crispy Treats. 7. Amy Winehouse's Brandy, You're a Fine Girl, or Valerie are the songs that always make me feel energized. 8. I'm okay at everything, but I'm not exceptional at anything, except for free throws. 9. My mother is the one who inspires me the most. She is a fierce lady with a big heart. 10. Almost Famous is the film that I've seen the most times around. 11. The most well-known individual to follow me on social media or send me direct messages is, dang, I can't think of anyone. I suppose I'm not all that cool, the emoji weep. 12. Right now, the rose emoji is, of course, my fave. 13. 
How to utilize Riz in a sentence is the last search I did on Google. 14. The entire experience of being on The Bachelor was my favorite part. Making lifelong friends, experiencing feelings I've never experienced, and learning to defend my moral convictions. 15. I learned to advocate for myself and stand up for what I think is right from being on The Bachelor. 16. Paige Lawrence is the celebrity I'm crushing on. She is a businesswoman as well as lovely, modest, and intelligent. 17. I would advise anyone who decides to watch The Bachelor to be open and receptive to all the feelings they encounter. You will always treasure these moments. 18. If I could spend the rest of my life hanging out with just three Bachelor Nation members, it would be. Oh my goodness, that would be difficult. Most likely my friend Lee, who goes places with Kellen and Hannah G, due to her love of fashion. 19. My globe from Joey and my roses from the rose ceremonies are two things I still own from my time on The Bachelor. 20. In five years, I imagine myself contentedly wed, carrying on as a boss chick, and providing a stable After environment. Joey Grazia D sent Maria, one of the season's favorites, home. The Bachelor fans are experiencing a wide range of emotions. In the most recent episode of the well-liked reality dating program on ABC, which aired on Monday, March 4, Joey visited the family of his four remaining ladies in four separate hometowns. Before traveling to Rancho Cucamonga, California to spend the day with Rachel and her family, he began his journey in New Orleans, Louisiana, where he paid a visit to Kelsia's family. After seeing Daisy's friends and family in Becker, Minnesota, he took out again and flew to Niagara Falls, New York, where he spent the day and evening with Maria and her family. His major concerns heading into the week seemed to be with Daisy and Maria, who both acknowledged that they had built emotional walls around themselves in order to shield themselves from heartache. However, Daisy ultimately showed him that she was falling in love at the end of their visit, which gave him the confidence he needed. While this was going on, Maria froze and said to the cameras, I don't know why I didn't say it. It's awful that he won't know how I truly feel before he leaves today. I seem to regret doing that. Then much to the chagrin of the other competitors, Maria abruptly pulled Joey away during the rose ceremony later in the show and said, I am falling in love with you. Sadly, as The Bachelor gave the three roses to Daisy, Kelsia, and Rachel, Maria's remarks did not dispel Joey's suspicions. During a viewing party, a fan posted video of Maria being sent home with the comment, Maria is literally the people's princess. With Maria gone, how am I going to watch the remainder of the show? Another admirer bemoaned, she was the whole show for me. And a third agreed, saying, Yeah, Maria is gone. I'm done all the best to Joey and the others. Another said that his decision was completely based on his fear of abandonment and not his true connection. And a fifth said, Rip to the hottest couple that could have been. ABC broadcasts episodes of The Bachelor every Monday at 8 p.m. PT slash ET. The following day, you can watch the shows online at Hulu. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.